Have you ever felt like you're just waiting on God? Like you've been praying, holding on to a promise, but nothing seems to be happening. You're not alone. It's something a lot of us wrestle with. But what if I told you that even when it feels like God is silent or slow, there's actually something powerful happening? Today we're diving into a message from 2 Peter 3, and it's all about understanding God's timing and His promises. So if you're in a season of waiting, or maybe you're wondering if God's even listening, stick around. I think you're going to find some real encouragement here, and it might just change how you see the whole waiting process. Let's get into it. I'm sure we've all felt this before. You know that feeling when you're waiting for something, and it just feels like it's taking forever. Maybe it's an answer to a prayer or a breakthrough in life. Well, in 2 Peter 3, there's a message for us about how God's timing isn't always like ours. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. But let's break it down a bit. So here's what Peter's saying. He's telling the people, look, don't get discouraged when you're waiting on God. Don't think he's forgotten you, even if it feels like that sometimes. He talks about how in the last days, there are going to be people, scoffers who mock believers. They'll say things like, hey, where's this coming of Jesus you keep talking about? They'll make fun because they don't see it happening right away. But Peter explains why it seems like God is taking his time. He says one day is like a thousand years to the Lord and a thousand years like one day. Now what he's saying is that God doesn't see time like we do. We might think, oh man, it's been forever. But to God, he's got the whole picture in mind. His timing is perfect, even if it's hard for us to get. Now here's the kicker. Peter says God is actually being patient because he wants everyone to have a chance to turn to him. Think about that. God's not slow. He's waiting because he loves people and wants to give everyone a chance. So when it seems like he's taking forever, it's not because he forgot. It's because he's waiting for the right moment when the most people can be saved. That's mercy right there. Sometimes we're like, ah, oh God, why aren't you answering me now? Why not today? But it's like when you plant a seed, you can't dig it up every day to check if it's growing, right? You've got to wait. Trust that it's doing its thing underground. Same with God's promises. They're growing. Even if you can't see it, he knows what he's doing. So if you're in a season of waiting, hang in there. Remember that God's promise isn't slack, it's sure. It's coming. It's not on our schedule, but it's on His. And trust me, when it does come, it's going to be worth it. God's got something better than what we can even imagine. He's faithful, so don't let the delay make you doubt. The delay is often just His mercy. If you're waiting on something, remember, you're not alone. Keep holding on, keep trusting, and don't let the wait make you lose hope. God's timing is always right, and his promises are as good as gold.